Right, we're here at our drop-off point. We've been driving along Cherry Creek Road, finally found a good point to park our truck off, and we're gonna start quadding now and take it up to the creek, find a good campsite. two of our four-day trip. Yesterday we took our quads, established camp, beautiful spot along this creek, and uh, so this morning we're going to go up to uh, the cliff dwellings of Pueblo Canyon. And these dwellings are unique from anything we've seen before because the things we've seen and shown in the past have been the stacked stone ruins and the fortresses, all pretty cool, but this is cliff dwellings. Some of them are as tall as three stories. And uh, so we're really, really looking forward to seeing what's all involved. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, what's unique too about this adventure is we've, we're spending four days in the area. And there's actually um, four different cliff dwellings up different canyons. And so we're down here on the bottom next to this beautiful creek that we've uh, set up camp, beautiful area. So we're really looking forward today and see how far we get. Hopefully we get all the way up there. I heard it's a little difficult. There's an elevation change. so. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So we've gone as far as we can with the quads. We're going to park them here. We saw two more vehicles, which are farther down. So we got to the highest point, and now from here we go go by foot. But you can kind of see the where we're going in the background there. Yeah, beautiful peaks. Looking mm -hmm. forward. Came across all these ferns. Oh man, it's beautiful. Wow, well, that's neat. Yeah, great passage. Oh, wow. First ruins of many, I think. Wow. 
Ah, oh, there's a mine or something here. That's crazy. Let's keep going forward. Okay. Let's check over snakes and stuff, right? Wow, oh, look at this thing. Maybe it wasn't in the book. Nope. Let's see some icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. It's kind of black like that stuff that uh, and silver was found in it. George's house. Is it end right there or what? You know, it gets lower and lower. Is it ending? Yeah, yeah, it's shining up there. Okay, that's enough. These guys are on their hands. That is cool. That is impressive. Peepholes. Wow, the timbers are still there. That is amazing. Another room. Wow. Beautiful. This side of that wall. Wow, well, leave this a little window opening. With a wooden uh, lintel at the top and stone window sill. Oh, down here, yeah, look at that. Thick walls. Wow. Stone and mud. Look at that beam. And you can see their fingerprints in the mud. Really? Yeah. Where are they? See this whole wall. And you can see the strips, finger up here, hands, and then little. Dink, dink. Looks like a paw print. The whole thing is and like no fingers. Just they just this. packed it like that, huh? Wow, yeah. that's so cool. The whole thing's rough. That's pretty neat. I wanted to highlight that what's holding this window open it looks like a two by twelve or something. It's just, oh, you know what? Look at this. But it's ancient. I mean, and it comes out here. It keeps going past that all the way over to here. Wow. Here's another piece of. No, that's, that's rock, right? That's, uh, there's another lintel over the door opening. It's several pieces of wood still holding in there after what 800 years? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. We hear water up here. Walking along almost to the end of the canyon. Wow. Oh, beautiful. There's a little pond down here. Where are we going? I guess we're going up. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, whoa. Look at that. That's why they were here. They had a water source. Oh. Nice. That moss that's growing on there. So what do you think? Maybe he did it? One factor would be if that's their water source and he had a drought, you're, you're done. Yeah. So, you know. They'd have to go all the way down that creek, man. That is a hike. A dependable water source, they, you know, they gave it up. 
Wow, that is beautiful back here. Look at these formations. What'd they eat? More vegetarian than we give them credit. Oh, wow. Wow, look at these walls. Look at those little windows. I guess they can spy on their neighbor. No, that's where. Oh, poles were. Yeah. Oh, there's a pole over there, there's still in existence. Wow. Let's go check that out. <laughs> okay, next room. Oh, wow. There's a post still there. And it exposed to fire. 800 years old. It's still there. There's petrified water. Um, what they have? Hey, they had these eight to ten inch diameter posts, tree, you know, Logs trunks and stuff, that yeah. went all the way across that formed the roof and possibly another level. Wow. Go on to the next one. What are we gonna find? Oh wow! Look at this, Kel. The floor oh, yeah. caved in. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to haul that in. Those are so old. The colors are beautiful, too. Yeah. This whole back room is walled up. Yeah. Go around the next corner. What do we got? Oh, wow. There's a lizard. Going down that wall. Barely fit through here with my pack on. Oh. Ouch. A little stumbling there going on. Wow. I don't know, that's 15 feet, 12, 15 feet tall. You know what's interesting, Don? What? Look at this here. Yeah. The cut on this. Like it was a saw or something, right? Yeah, some kind of pretty clean cut. And that was done by the the, uh, the natives. So, but now here it's like hacked. What is, how could they cut that like that? Yeah. Wow. That wall behind you is pretty tall too. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat how you see that the finger, some of it's pounding with the palms. Yeah. Some of you still see the fingertips and you see a distinct color of change of the brown to like a golden color. Mud wow. over there. Oh, that's a nice looking wall. And yeah. A layer of stones. Uh huh. That's wow. cool. Wow. Here's a top bunk over here. Actually, some, probably some kind of storage area. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at uh, how tall you are and look at these. Posts. Now, if these went all the way across and we're holding up a roof, how short it was. Yeah, this then, is this a lot of fill too. But oh yeah, maybe it was filled in. Might have been lower. Superstitious type people, you know. You hear a wind passage. Oh, spirits. Out of the corner. Wow. Going on to the next room after that big room right there. More walls. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Look at that thing. At least I can stand up going through this one. Oh, I got a beam in here too, Kel. Oh, a couple of them. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Now you can tell, see how rounded this is from where it was wet? Uh-huh. That was an opening. Where? Right here. See, it's on a break, so like a, a window opening or... Right where you're standing there, you mean? Yeah, this thing here. 
being all smooth around here. Oh, okay, yeah. It was made that way. Oh, so that was the upper floor. Yeah, yeah. That was the door. Door to the upper floor. Oh, we struggled. We brought it in green. Wow, look at this. That is amazing. We were short people. That is really cool. Okay, well, let's go see what's next door. If there's anything else, any other surprises. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at those beams embedded in that wall. And then over here. Oh, wow. Part of the floor is still up. Wow, so the floor, the floor was mud. So they built it strong enough to where the... Yeah, so they wouldn't walk on the head. You can see this wall just fell flat. It's been laying here who knows how long. But this is that room with the, the flooring. So John, this is, uh, this is some Indian uh, Look at that. stuff here, writing. Wow. When you look up there, all they had the white, because they used their fingers, yeah. and they did dots. Okay. You couldn't get to that unless you had this structure in place. Oh, right. Yeah, you're up there. And the hand, little tiny handprint. Wow. That's pretty cool. What a view. Wow, keep moving. Look what we see over here. There's a structure that's out away from inside that was built. Look at the wall. Oh, that is cool. Oh, yeah. Freestanding. Freestanding structure out here. Look at it. It looks like a door that was mudded over. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Changed their mind. Yeah. Let's keep walking around this thing and check it out from the other angle. Oh wow. Yeah, somebody walled that up and it wasn't uh, wasn't a modern job. I mean, it was ancient construction. Wow. Yeah, so it's interesting is this uh, doorway that was closed up is definitely a different color mud than the rest of it. So it was an afterthought or, you know, whatever. Huh. I'm sitting here watching nature, eating inside this Indian ruin here. It's just beautiful. You can see behind us all the walls we just walked mm -hmm. through. Wow. Right, walking up to these other ruins. There's a nice little uh, spring coming out right here. They got water all over the place. So the oh, wow. Changes again. This is a mostly stone wall. Huh. Very little. There's mud mortar. Yeah. That's weird. There's a little bit of mud in there. Yeah. Bigger stones, too. Okay, we can still see some of the logs in here from the original uh, inhabitants, but we can see more modern day uh, cuts 
like with a saw cut. We and saw that back there and we were kind of confused, right? Yeah. Where? We thought, we thought, how did the Indians cut it so sharp? Right. And then we realized uh, that that one trail book you, you got that said that an explorer that came and examined it. And well, the archaeologist. Archaeolo yeah, they came here in the 1930s. 1930s. And he said he took cut samples of the wood beams. For dating. To date the Right, the right. The That's right. Wood. That must be some of those original cuts. So he's the one who cut it straight like that, not yeah. the ancient uh, right. inhabitants. Wow. There's an opening that goes through this wall. Oh, wow. See the light in there? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go into the next room. And, uh, wow, see this window that was here? And now the pieces of wood are just sticking out. Oh, Don, you want to see a good comeback today? Yeah, what you got? Uh, all this wood floor. Right. Underneath. Yeah. No mud, just wood. Did you get that? Oh, wow. No. It's just like planks. Yeah, just planks. And then the mud's on top of that. Okay, as we come around, uh, so there's another. These logs here were cut probably by those archaeologists. Look how straight they are. Yeah. But they were brought up here by the ancient civilizations. Oh, wow, there's a big structure here. There's beams again. Wow, that was almost three stories tall. Let's go check that out. The window here. Oh, wow. Like a construction site. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. Now this piece of wood, you can see the rings there, but I don't think this is cut by the archaeologists. This is, looks like it's chipped away by the Native Americans. Ah, uh, two stories. Uh, cool. Wow, again, the view. This is Yeah. Oh, we're going to go on to the next room, see what we got to get over here. Oh, yeah, wow, there's another big, huge wall. More beams. Wow. Go on to the next room here. Oh, yeah, wow, more beams. There's one that goes way up there. That's amazing. Man, they just keep going on and on with these beams. These rooms are all connected. Probably a couple stories tall. Man. It goes all the way through. So keep going, it looks like. Some other structures here. This is like our fourth complex, maybe. We had one on the other side of the cliff, or the canyon, and now three good ones, it looks like, on this side. It just keeps going along. Let's see what we can find. Same kind of building. 
Look at that. One that's still standing. It's amazing. Looks like the wall caved in inward. Moving on down the line, there's that beam sticking through there. Supported in the middle. You see it already. Wow, looks like it was added later because it's different construction, different mud. It just keeps going over there. Wow. What's going on in here? Oh, looks like the roof collapsed. Yeah, and it's almost like planking. So the construction is not unlike what we see in carpentry today because you got the major beam and then the smaller beams and on top of that you got the wood planking. I mean, it's the same construction basically. 800 years ago, that's amazing. Oh, that's kind of scary. Pretty tall wall right there. That's all falling down. The wood lintel is gone, but the, it's sagging, but it's still there. Is that you under there, Kel? <laughs> yeah, now you can see the wood flooring on top. I mean, not just the wood, but the dirt. Yeah. It could have been a roof up there or another floor, but yeah, this is that room that's collapsed. Just amazing. Kind of bowed, isn't it? You see the two pointed rocks sticking out there? Yeah. These beams here, these yeah. pine tree beams, uh, just occurred to me, we learned from the archaeologists that these things are like 800 years old. Right. And uh, I don't think pine trees live that long on their own. So if these trees were left to grow on their own, they'd be dead and decomposed by now. And yet, here they are still existing. Wow. That's uh, interesting. Hey, Kel, stop for a minute. I want to show you something. Uh, you see this? See that ledge is down there of... Uh, Oh, prickly pear. Prickly pear. Uh-huh. I bet. Well, I don't know. I could see the, the um, native bringing the prickly pear up, harvesting along that ledge right there. Cultivating it, huh? Cultivating it just because they use it for food. They can use it for other things, you know? Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, there they are. Nice. Made it back to the quads. Wow. wow. I think we went, what, Seven miles, I think. Seven miles. That was quite the trip. Yeah, right.